Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to use MSI Afterburner. A lot of people is asking me the same question when I do my video. How can you see your FPS when you're playing the game? How can you overclock your video card and stuff like that? Me, I'm using MSI Afterburner. I will not do an overclock uh, overclocking guide. I have another video for that, but still I will show you quickly how you can do it. But not necessarily with all the details. So... Let's start this. So first of all, this is MSI Afterburner. The first thing that you need to do is click here. You want to make sure that when you open your computer, uh, the uh, software will open and will apply whatever change that you ask for. So really important to click here. Second of all, I always put my power limit at the max and the temp limit at the max. It's not a huge deal. You already have a protection on your video card. So uh, for me, I just want to make sure that my card can get the, the, the amount of power that uh, it needs. So uh, that's why I'm putting those one at maximum. After that, I have a bit of uh, overclocking on my uh, core clock and also on the memory. I always start with the memory. I I'm putting like 20 megahertz chunk. I do a uni engine benchmark. I'm, I'm just looking if it's stable. If it's stable, I push my memory again until it. I get like, like some kind of crash or artifact. For the, after that, I go on the core clock. I just put some 20 megahertz 20 megahertz just do my still the, the same test on my benchmark make sure that also my number is higher because sometimes you will overclock it's stable but you're getting less fps so really important to look at that so that's pretty much it i have a video that will show you how to do it but this is pretty much where you can overclock your video card the part that i want to show you is click setting over there click on the monitoring over there so this is pretty much all the monitoring um how can I say stuff that you can add on your monitor when you're playing the game me I always I, I, I really like to see my GPU temperature for example so you, you have to make sure that you have the check mark over there and after that you click on it you click show on screen display over there so you see here when I add it this is the the way if you want to see it on your monitor when you're playing a game I really like to add the GPU usage my core clock so i want to see my boost on my gpu after that we can go a little bit lower now we'll go on the cpu i really like to see my cpu temperature really important the cpu usage also the cpu clock you want to see your boost clock over there the ram usage so how many ram do you're currently using my frame rate frame rate a bit it's a bit different over there uh you can uh, press for me it's really i really like to use that i'm used text and graph so that's why you see both over there so this is pretty much you will see your fps with a number and you also see your graph so uh, the graph I, I like it because i want to see when i'm getting like some random drops so i just send the graph the drop uh so that's why i'm putting the graph but honestly if you just want to see your fps just put text over there and i'm putting my frame time to uh see my latency so when you're done uh you can press apply after that, go to on-screen display. Uh, this is to make sure that you have a toggle button to see uh, your stats. So for me, it's insert on my keyboard. So when I want to see my stat, I just press insert. I will see all my stuff top left over there. And if you don't, I don't want to see it, I just uh, press again and everything will be removed. So this is pretty much how you can use it. Another um, thing that I want to talk about is the fan. You can have like a manual control on your GPU fan. So if you don't use uh, you don't use any other software for your GPU, this is pretty much how to do that. Um, me for me, it's not a huge problem with my uh, 2070 with automatic. Honestly, uh, it doesn't make a lot of noise and my temps are good. But if you're struggling with your temps, you have like 75 degrees and more. You can uh, use this if you want and put your um, your fan curve a little a bit more aggressive. So yeah, you will hear more noise, but you will get a, a better temp. So this is pretty much the way you can uh, do that if you want to use it. So in the fan section, if you don't want to use the manual one, just uncheck it and MSI Afterburner will use the automatic settings. So that's pretty much it guys uh, for uh, MSI Afterburner. Uh, we will go inside of the game and I will show you uh, what uh, uh, the, the way that the software uh, will show you the, the stats. So we will talk also about it. So let's open Halo Tree. 
So now we are in Halo Trees. As you can see at top left of my screen, I now have all the stats that we currently bind it. So for example, my GPU, I'm, I'm, I'm at 57 degrees right now, usage 50%. You, as you can see, you see my boost clock, 1875 MHz. You have pretty much the same stats for my CPU, so degrees, usage, and the boost clock. And after that, you're seeing the number of FPS, so 144, and I have a 6.9 MS for my latency. Um, and as you can see, also, I have my graph right now. It's pretty much it's stable. If you have some random drop, you will see some line, as you can see over there, and get like some a small drop. So this is pretty much it. Uh, one thing that it's really important to say, I don't know if you see the D3, D11, that means that you're currently using DirectX 11, so if you're using the API DirectX, for example, 12, you will see the D3, D12, and if you are on Vulkan, it will say Vulkan, so this, it can help you sometimes, I don't know if you want to make sure that you're running on Vulkan, DirectX 11, or even 9 if you're playing an old game, that's pretty much where you will find the information. So that's it guys, if you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, uh, and also any question on MSI Afterburner, I will try to help you the best that I can, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, peace guys.